And how's all the people out there? Doing well, I hope. I've said it ever since the earthquake and tsunami that the power plants were leaking into the water, into the air, the whole nine yards, and that it was coming to the west coast and spreading from there all over the world. But we get hit by it. You know, by the way the the wind carries it, the way the ocean carries it. It's contaminating sea life, plant life, animal life above the ground. Everything. And the FDA is not going to protect you from eating seafood. They don't test 100% of everything. They claim that the, they'll give you an acceptable level, and, you know, and they'll tell you crap like Ooh, the amount of radiation that got over here from it is, uh, you know, within a, a safe level of, for, you know, human absorption. Balderdash. I don't even think that's the right word. I'd like to say something more about that. But you've been lied to again. So, it's coming out now. When things start getting to where you can't hide them anymore, then they start doing damage control because people start talking and this just talking about the water leakage is contaminated and the so-called uh, ice wall they're going to build uh, it's talking about the fisheries you know and and how they're all you know they're they can't sell their fish over there at least even if we could catch them, no one would buy them. We're talking about the Pacific Ocean, not just Fukushima affected. If TEPCO allows more water to leak into the sea, the criticism will be worldwide. Water leakages act of treason to all industry workers and the members of the public. So they're closer to the situation. <clears throat> you understanding yet? We're farther away. It takes a little longer to drift our way. But you will get health problems from it. You won't drop dead in two or three days, like I've said. You'll absorb it. And then you get some health issues. And then you go get it checked out. And then you find out stuff's wrong. And then they try to figure out what it is. And then you get your doctors over here who are not going to come off and say, Ooh, it's Fukushima radiation, because half of them are ignorant. Half of them just want a dollar bill for the office charge and the testing. This is the ice wall article. They started pumping contaminated water, TEPCO did, the owners of the crippled plant, in the temporary storage tanks, desperate act, that is a monument to mismanagement. Uh, 882 days, 72,000 gallons of radiated water flowed into the Pacific, TEPCO considering freezing the ground around the plant, building a mile long ice wall under the ground, never been tried before to keep the water out, grasping at straws, evidence the company failed to anticipate a problem or anticipated it and didn't do anything about it, and now cannot solve it. Remember, TEPCO also answers to someone above them. You have workers that work there still and they are deathly afraid of another explosion because they know the crappy things going on there they keep their mouth shut half the time and uh... fear of losing their jobs and junk and that's the welfare of workers isn't often raised nagging fear something could go wrong at any time so you got workers that know what's going on, but most of them ain't saying nothing. Then you got your China syndrome. And this is a little older, I believe, video. But take a listen and do some understanding. Japan arising over the radioactive water leaking into the Pacific Ocean 
the country's crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, which was devastated by the earthquakes and tsunami of 2011. Joining me now in studio to discuss the radioactive leak is Paul Gunter, director of the Reactor Oversight Project at BeyondNuclear.org. Thank you for being here, Paul. Really Thank you very your much. Presence. Now, I'm going to start off by asking you, can you tell us how long the contaminated water has been, how long the contamination has been leaking into the water? Very likely since the uh, explosions and the meltdown at uh, Fukushima Daiichi in March of uh, 2011. Wow, that, that is quite a long time. Now, how much and what sort of radiation and is leaking into the Pacific. I know there's all different types, so if you can explain that right. in a little detail. Well, clearly what we've seen now is the movement of radioactive hydrogen, tritium, uh, which uh, is a uh, mobile uh, radioactive isotope, but clearly um, radioactive cesium-134, 137, strontium-90. We're seeing a full range of radioactive contaminants now moving, which indicate that uh, the damaged cores of these reactors, the meltdowns themselves, uh, have, are now contributing to the contamination of the Pacific Ocean and groundwater that's moving at about a, a rate of a 300 to 400 gal, uh, uh, metric tons uh, per day. So, but these uh, numbers are really um, only approximations and will vary, but clearly a lot of radioactivity is moving through groundwater into the ocean. Now, why is the plant continuing to leak? You'd think they would have, or maybe they already have, taken steps to contaminate some of this leakage. Well, they, uh, um, they have, you know, Tepco, Tokyo Electric Power Company, put up a temporary wall between the uh, reactor wreckage and the, uh, the ocean, but uh, this has really acted no, nothing more than just like a dam, so that the water is building up behind the dam, and now it's breached the dam, it's spilling over, and the radioactive contamination is moving into the Pacific. But um, it's, uh, you know, right now we're seeing the, the Japanese government is in chaos. Uh, uh, this, the fact that the revelation of this extensive contamination is coming now more than two years after the accident occurred, uh, indicates that it's completely out of control and uh, the command and control uh, is in chaos in Japan right now and, and really the big question is why aren't they calling international aid to address the radioactive contamination of the Pacific Ocean? Why do you suspect they aren't calling international aid? The, the problems are I think clearly that uh, there's, there's there's no transparency, and the government and the industry, as documented by the Japanese Diet, their Congress, it, is that there's been a collusion all along. And uh, so what we're seeing is a veil being drawn over the accident to, to uh, promote an agenda for continue the restart of these reactors in Japan and uh, to try to contain uh, the uh, bad news rather than the radiation. That's very concerning because the radiation is much more than just the news itself. Now, what can be done beyond these dams that you mentioned before in terms of contaminating the leakage? Well, the, the, you know, in order to contain the leaks, we have to isolate the, the radioactive waste. But indications are right now that the reactor structures themselves have been breached uh, it's very likely that the, um, some, some of the radioactive material, the melted cores, have moved into the earth. And, and the, uh, the, so the containing, it's beyond containment right now. I think that's the tragedy uh, that we see unfolding as Fukushima's radioactive water crisis is only beginning. That's very concerning. How far has this radiation spread? And how fast is it going while it's fresh? Again, some of the radioactive isotopes are more mobile than others. Radioactive tritium, mm -hmm. uh, the hydrogen, it moves anywhere water goes because it is radioactive hydrogen and, and makes up a component of water. So um, the, the spread of the contamination 
contamination is only going to be as effectively monitored as the technology is out there. And frankly, we don't know the full extent. Uh, nobody really knows the full extent of the contamination at this point as it moves through uh, uh, not only groundwater but also through the atmosphere and into ocean currents. So um, it, it, we're in a very grave situation right, right now as the, uh, the Japanese government has uh, declared this is a new radiation emergency coming out of a worsening situation at Fukushima Daiichi. Now what does this mean for the people of Japan and around the world? I think that certainly the concern right now is that the people of Japan want more transparency into what their government is or is not doing about this uncontrolled radioactive catastrophe. Uh, the meetings that are going on right now between industry and government are behind closed doors. So the Japanese people are a asking for more transparency to, uh, to get a better understanding of just how un out of control this whole situation is. And that's going to be true for New Zealand, for Taiwan, for Korea, for China, uh, for all the, the, uh, the immediate Pacific nations, but ultimately it raises concerns for radio radioactive contamination in the uh, ocean currents in the Pacific. Well, very concerning. We appreciate your insight into this. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you. That was Paul. Well. Well, well, well. You just heard from a big scientist here. Just what it is. Poison. Poison to the world. You've heard there's a chance, probably, probably not a chance, probably a certainty that it has went into the ground and doing a China syndrome. Once, do you understand, uh, once it gets into the ground, there's virtually no stopping it. And like you heard him say, it's radioactive hydrogen, and hydrogen is a part of water, so it's going to go where water goes, like he said, and trace the current. Where does it go? And it's going to come to the west coast. So I'm warning everyone, like I have before. You know, you got to. I don't know how else plainly to say it, but you got to take some kind of a precaution in what you're eating. As, you know, as far as your, where is it coming from out of the, out of the ocean, your, your seafood and stuff. Hey, you may just have to give it up. It's your health and your body we're talking about. And your water. Well, we all got to have water. So we're kind of all over a barrel. And they know it. And we have to demand things that we want because they're not going to give them to us if they don't want them to be given to us. Their strength in numbers together we're strong. Separately we fail. Together we win. It is a very serious problem. It's not being broadcast. It's only now being touched upon. But it has been going on since March 11th, 2011. It never stopped. It never improved. The only thing that happened was the water went down and no more plants blew up yet. So pray for the world. Get in touch with Jesus. He loves you. Let him be the guiding source in your life. No matter what happens on this earthly realm, the main thing is your soul. And committing it to God and Jesus and entering into heaven. That's eternity. This little time we got here is nothing compared to that. But that's what you want to make sure of that you're wearing the armor of God to protect yourself. I'll speak with all of you real soon.